Would you drink camel piss mixed with camel milk? Would you? Don't go to the Bible. Would you? The Bible. Yes or no? <laughs> he wants to change the subject. And this guy says he'll do it because Mohammed said so. Yes, yes, I'll do it. So it doesn't matter what science discovers, you just do what Mohammed said. So I could put shit into that bottle, and according to Mohammed, it would not be impure. No! Because it's water. No, no, take it out of context. He said, show me one scholar that argues the Quran has been changed. He's in luck because today I'm doing a buy one, get one free. Let's go up to beast. I look to it. How's it going, right boy? It comes. Master Splinter. Fat motherfucker. Fat motherfucker. There's your boy right there. And they actually show your life. You just hear to. You're not even a Muslim. You're not even a Muslim. You're not even a proper terrorist. <laughs> you know, you're not even a proper terrorist. Are you a terrorist? <laughs> you, you. What about you? You. You're not even a proper terrorist. You, you're just a pussy. Old. Like you. That's all. No one. That's why they put you banged over. Cause you got banged over. You banged over. The man got banged over. How's your jaw? How's your jaw, bro? After that bang you got, is it alright? You've been beaten a few times here. Hey, you cannot keep reversing back and forth. Why you gonna fucking kill me? Right to the police. Please use the sound when you're back. Metropolitan. your landlord is here no he wants his rent he wants his rent <laughs> I see a dentist is here. Yeah, I aware not. Better than you. Look at him, I'm not you. Oh, yeah. 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 Look at what happened to him. <laughs> you would have it. Yes. You would have it. I know you, his Pick boyfriend. Up. You would have it. His boyfriend is here. Here we go. You would have it. You see, he loves you. He likes you. Do you like him? Do you like Omar? Do you like him? Omar, good man. Very good man. Good man. He's a good man. Good man. He's a good man. Omar, good yeah, up the ass. Good man. You like Abra Oz? Fuck it out. He likes Abra Oz. Liar. So, Omar. How long have you been taking Abra Oz? Liar. What? Just in case you want a ticket, Pakistan Airways flies from here. Are you going to buy me my ticket then? If you buy me a ticket, buy me a ticket. Buy me a ticket. Allow, buy, me Allow, 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 buy me a ticket. Buy me a ticket. Are you gonna buy me a ticket? Are you gonna buy me a ticket? Are you gonna buy me a ticket? Are you gonna buy me a ticket though? Yes. Go on, come we go to the come we go to the Taliban. What do you want here? Don't care. We can start off flight back because you're a terrorist. You're banned from flying. Because every time you go on a plane, you want to put a bomb on it. That's that's a problem with Muslims like you. Yes, it is. Yes. Anything else? Anything else? Yeah. Anything else? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
when he, how are the IRA friends with the Nazis? How are they in any way similar to the Nazis? They were not allies. The Nazis don't look at your history books. I'm looking at history because I'm Irish, right? Oh, I'm thick as shit, right? Nazis thought the Slavs, the Jews, anyone in the Balkans and the Irish were subhuman. How would they? What's your point? What's your point? Leave lights on in London so the Luftwaffe can spot your bombs on London. Leave lights on in London. How they were allies? Oh what? Oh what? You just say no, 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 yeah. You're mentally ill, mate. You're yeah. mentally yeah. ill. Yeah. Yeah. Which is eight, but that's a communist flag, isn't it? Oh. Look at ya. Yeah. You, you, you look frustrated. You, said you look frustrated. 19 kicking off. <laughs> IRA supporter, hand Love in hand with the Nazis. Harmony, yeah. You know yeah. IRA was uh, yeah. allies with the Nazis. You could have had a debate with it all, mate. Is that why Hitler said there was some you? Did he? Yes, he did. Did you know Hitler, did you? Yes, he has a book out. Oh, where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? Have you ever heard of Mein Kampf? No Do you know the book, the Mein Kampf? Read the Mein Kampf. Listen, I'll debate you next week. Go home, have a look at it. Look at you can't IRA debate. Nazis in your seat. IRA Nazis. And Nazis. So what, were they communist Nazis as well? Were they Jewish Nazis? No, 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 that's right. They were anti-British. Exactly. I mean, there were more British people who were saying that they were the Nazis. And they didn't agree with the Nazis to invade Northern Ireland. No, the king. What's up here, my friend? Let's go with the right. Let's go hypothetically right. He's an IRA supporter. Let's go with all. Let's go according to everything. I believe we live in a democracy currently. He can be a fucking Nazi supporter and he can still walk around here and he can say what the fuck he likes. We live in a democracy. No, my point is, no matter what he is, we live in a democracy. We don't live in Nazi terms. So he can be what the fuck he likes. Speech of the violence. Speech of the violence. All right. The guy can be what the fuck he likes. If you want to support campaign and blowing up schools, so be it. You mean talking to blow up schools? Yeah, you can be believing in people blow up schools. But see, we had a gentleman disagreement. I disagreed with him politically. He was gentlemanly. I want him deported. <laughs> and he's okay with that, right? He hates the English. He hates uh, you know, the British. You know, but we don't have to Why are you living in Britain? He hates the British. No, 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 I didn't see what he was doing. I didn't see if he got But I mean, we can gentlemanly disagree. Yeah, my life is too short. Oh, what's the debate yes, then? Yes, but you were in the main. Debate me. Oh, you're not a bigot. Mate, you're an IRA supporter. I just want to ask you a question. You're clearly a bigot. Yes, clearly. If you support Han being racist, you are a racist. What? Name me one racist thing I've ever said. You believe in different races. Uh, believing in different that. races does not yeah, make you a racist. Yeah, 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 I think that all races are equal. I believe in one race is human race. No, race. race. no one's too close to me. Yeah. 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 Buy me a drink or two. Tell me you did it for us. Don't learn the history about the IRA. I don't know my history about the IRA. My great grandfather was in the IRA. He 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 was in the IRA. In 1942, they wanted to bomb England and the IRA Lights on in London, so the bombers could find London. The Nazis thought that the Nazis thought that the Irish were subhuman. Learn your history. Did you hear what he said though? What? About the IRA. Oh, oh and people the lights. Wait, oh, I don't shit up about the IRA. Is it a lie or is it true? I don't know. Is it, is it, no, is it true? It's really bullshit. Is it bullshit? 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 I mean, it's, it's not something to which... Why would, you, why would you ally with someone who thinks that you're subhuman? The, 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 the Nazis wouldn't have thought that the Irish were subhuman. Because they would have been considered Aryans. Really? Yeah. I mean, Adolf Hitler didn't have blonde hair and blue eyes. Yeah, yeah. 
and neither did yeah. any of the leading Nazis. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so it wasn't a case that only people with blonde hair and blue eyes were Nazis or Aryans. So any no, European... Define, define Aryan. Yeah, well, because the Nazis so Aryan, enrolled the Albanian Muslims into the SS. They had a Muslim exactly. division, a Muslim SS division. They had a Muslim SS division. You're well uneducated, man. Can you stop spitting at my face when you're going around preaching racism? No. You call that you're racist. You, call that you believe in different races. No, believe in different races. It's not I called you racist. what? I called you, you what? You called rap boy the P word. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. What are you lying for? Right. Anyway, no, no, you're lying. You, 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 if you want to argue with him, that's fine. But no, that's the, 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 the Nazis. The Nazis. All right, I'll, I'll leave them to it. I'm not going to get involved in that debate. It's silly. It is silly. Anyway, how are you, JC? Right. So I want to go and ask some questions. Uh, we'll we'll just see who's around. Maybe just go to some, just go and see if we can find some random people and ask some questions. Okay, cool. So should we do a walk around with Yeah, it? can do. Yeah. How are you doing, bro? Nice meet you. Christ is Lord. You well? I'm good, thank you. And you? Back. So kind. Allow me. TNTS Grid in the house. Like, share, and subscribe. Okay, bro. Great channel. TNTS Grid. Yeah. One man, so close. We wanna, we wanna do uh, some questions on Mohammed's drinking behaviour. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around and we wanna ask some questions about uh, some of the drinking, uh, some of the beliefs that. Mohammed expounded yeah, with regards to with regards to drinking. I don't want to talk to that guy. He, this guy, this guy on camera. Let's just put him on camera. So this guy, this guy. Yeah, let's put him on camera for a second. So, so this guy here last week, he interrupted Christians worshiping, and he would be the first person to complain. It's on camera. It's on camera. It's on camera. You're caught on camera. Yeah. And, and he would be the first kind of person to complain if someone interrupted Muslims worshiping. He'd be calling it Islamophobia. But when he interrupts Christians worshiping, he he, he lives yeah, in denial of it. He's, yeah, he's on yeah, camera yeah, doing camera. it. Exactly. We'll yeah. see. We'll try and provide the link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the yes, kind of Islamist that we're dealing. Yes, yeah, this is the camera. kind of Islamist that we have to deal with in the no park. <laughs> I'm standing here. He comes. Hey, what Jesus God? Mr. Runaway, what Jesus God? Hi, Mr. Bob. Hey, how are you? As always, yes. How did the bank? How did the conservative values? Because in my opinion, I think it all came from the same source. Well, well, that's that's your faith. No one ever used to ask. But you know what? You know what? But you know what? If you believe in the Big Bang, evolution is your faith. It's the biggest religion on the earth. Now, if you believe, if you believe just by faith, no, just two seconds. Yeah. No, just, yeah. No, 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 don't try and get famous on SC Dawa. Bob, we've let go of the DCCI team. We've been asked to stay away from the DCCI team. Unfortunately, we've advised you. We've advised you, DCCI. Sorry, sorry. Find another goat. Find another goat. About the Hadith. Are you embarrassed by your Hadith? Yeah, I'm running away from you, Bob. Why are you just one question? Why are you running away? 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 Why are you running from me? Why are you running from me? Why are you running from me? Jesus is cursed. No, Jesus and is cursed. And Satan is cursed. If Satan is cursed, then Jesus is cursed. Who's your God? The prophet says. Who's your God? Who's your God? Who's your God? If a house dies, who's your God? Who's your God? Who's your God? Who's your God? If anyone, Satan is cursed and Jesus is cursed, he should dip it in the drink and take it out. Then go eat some sandwich. For one of its wings has a disease, and the other has a cure of the disease. I'm curious. 
What's the uh, do, do you, your monologue? Your monologue. Your monologue. Your monologue. I didn't hear. I didn't hear. Why? Why are the doubters afraid to answer questions? No, you are afraid. Answer me quickly. Are you embarrassed? No, you are embarrassed. Are you embarrassed? 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 Are you embarrassed?
So no, no, that's the people. So let's here. ask a well, let's ask a human here. question. I've got a question. Let's ask a human question. You can ask a human level. What would you use? What? Fine. Would you use? I don't speak for all Muslims around the world. That's fine. I'm not asking you to. What? I'm asking you to speak for yourself. Arrested. Would you use to perform your ritual of worship? A world in which there were rotten dogs, menstrual towels, and human shit. No, you're not. No, 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 Right, you use a tap phone. That's fine. What? I have the worst answer. Okay. But you're smarter question. than your prophet. What? Because your prophet said, indeed water is pure, nothing makes it impure. Nothing. You might take that out of context. I'll read it in its entirety. I'll read it in its entirety. Abu Sayyid al Qudri narrated. It was narrated. Allah's messenger. Shall we use the water of the water? You said I was reading it out of context. Do you want to hear it in context? He doesn't want to hear it in context. He doesn't want to hear it in context. You need to ask someone properly who knows what they're talking about, who studied Islam. Do you believe, as your prophet said, the water is never made impure by anything? Water. Is that what you believe? No. Have you investigated what the Japanese doctor said about water? A huh? Japanese doctor said something about water I'm supposed to know about. Years. You're not even a Christian scholar, Bob the Builder. You can't fix shit. I'm asking you if you would perform your ablutions from a well polluted with shit. I'm reading. I do not believe what you're reading. You don't believe your own hadith. And time again, we find that Muslims are embarrassed by their own literature. Time and time again, we find that Muslims are embarrassed by their own prophet. This is what your literature says. This isn't some right-wing conservative Christian. This is Chami Al-Tamidi, 66, and it was considered Hassan. That was the level of reliability given to it, in which Muhammad said, Nothing makes water impure. Nothing. Not rotting dog's flesh, not human feces, and not menstrual towels of women. That's what your prophet said. So who should I blame for the stupidity? Allah for not correcting him, Muhammad for believing it, the narrators who preserved the tradition, or sat all the collectors of hadith who compiled it, all the scholars who said that it was Hassan. Tell me, who's to blame? Which Bible? Anyone? I can give you an answer. He's going to give us an answer. He said, if there's a, if there's a tap on a well and the water is contaminated, so what if you find a, a, a tampon in a river, a huge river, are you telling me that that whole river is contaminated? Con con contaminated? You can still drink from that river because it will be pure. How about that? Let me address that, that point. That might be the meaning of what Let me address the argument. Water being pure. We have finally had a Muslim willing to try and defend his embarrassing prophet. And his comparison, however, is fundamentally flawed. Go on then. Because he compared a river, a flowing river, River with a menstrual towel okay. to a well. Yeah. A well is a stagnant pond of water. It is not a river. Your defense does not follow. Furthermore, Furthermore, a Muslim scholar listen to what Muhammad said. Yeah. He said, nothing oh, yes, makes water here. impure. Yeah. Yeah. So I could put nothing. shit into that bottle, <laughs> and according to Muhammad, <laughs> it would not be impure. <laughs> no. Because it's water. Yeah. Take it out of context. That's what Muhammad said. He said, I'm lying. I'm lying. Answer my question. Answer my question. I have one question for you. But all I'm doing is quoting Muslim sources. So if I am lying, I am a very literature. 
Bob. He's a However, female command. There is more evidence. He's a man. There is more evidence. Camel urine. There's another Adi. One question, Bob. There's another Adi. We don't want to hear your rubbish. It was not even that Jabir bin Allah. He's blah blah blah. His own prophet. He's not my prophet. Come on. We came to in which there was a carcass of a donkey. So now it's upon the well. So we avoided from using the water until the messenger of Allah came to us and said, Water is not made impure by anything. Then we drank from it and gave it to our animals to drink. And we carried some with us. Soon in Ibn Hajar Hadith 520. Okay, okay. A question for you. The strength of this hadith was Sayyid. <laughs> So, second kings. So, second kings. Whom should I say? Second kings. Allah for second not second correcting kings. Muhammad for believing something so stupid that even his contemporaries knew that it was wrong to drink contaminated bombs with the rotting carcasses of donkeys. And the proper record. We those that preserve the narration we heard you. We heard you. of those that compile it. We heard you. you. Muhammad, answer the question. Muhammad was dressing the people who are living in the desert. Okay. Uh, if you're in the desert, uh, 100 and so, contaminated well, so either jahil. you drink or you die. So what do you do? Jahil. What do like you Muhammad. do? So they were so, like Muhammad. Yeah? You're not gonna answer that question. I'm going to, ad I'm going to address so his argument. Like Muhammad. So yet again, you are saying, we now have you are two saying, Muslims they were jahil like trying to argue in defense okay. of drinking contaminated water. It's not contaminated water. But his ah. argument is, what is that? if you're in a desperate this situation, guy, this guy, he doesn't you will drink. Argue. No, or you will die. No and that is his well. argument. No that, yes. However, <laughs> the hadith, hadith argues right against it. him okay. so because right. the contemporaries of right. Muhammad avoided drinking from that water. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. So they knew the situation yes. and they were inclined not to drink. But what reason did Muhammad give? Yes. Did he say, guys, you got to drink the water because there isn't another source, yeah. and if you don't drink it, you'll die? Because if no, he didn't. Say no, people what will die. What did he say? People will prefer he to said, die and drink that water. Water is not made impure by anything. Oh. That was what Muhammad said. Oh. No. Not. This no. is the only source of water yes. 200 miles around. Yes. So drink it, guys, yes. yeah, or you'll die. That's what they're oh, doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He that's said it's safe to drink. Shut the safe to shut drink. Shut to drink. Just, just shut Why are you embarrassed just by just your friend? No, 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 you come up with a bullshit. He's coming. 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 The brother says, Bob, Bob, we will drink Bob, that water if Muhammad said drink it. Yes, 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 you are, you are we can do better than this ready, early medieval, urine. ignorant, prophet. Can you answer one okay. of my questions? Yes, I will. In Go European ahead and times, Go ahead and drink it. Europeans were faced you know, Bob is not with the possibility time. of drinking contaminated water. Yeah. And they had to use alcohol to clean the water, to purify it of its bacteria and its germs 
and its diseases. That's why you're drunk every day, yes. Which is like why Europeans like drank alcohol in certain periods of their history because it was the safest thing to drink. They knew this at a time very similar to Mohammed. So there is no excuse for Mohammed's stupidity. No, it's not stupidity. The reason why he is stupid is because he does not have a direct line to God and he is a false prophet. To you, to you, to you. And a religion that esteemed this man leads you into the kind of nonsense you just heard not one but two because Mohammed said do so. They are following Satan. We can do better Have you than that. Bob? Bob, it's boring. I haven't even finish. talked about camel piss yet. <laughs> yeah, I will drink camel oh, piss. But let's talk about camel piss. Let's talk about camel piss. Who wants to hear about Mohammed saying drink camel piss? This is narrated in Book 1, Hadith 307, Sunan al Nasai. It was narrated that Anas bin Malik narrated that some people from Ukul came to the Messenger of Allah and spoke about Islam. This they said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, You're repeating we are nomads up. who follow the herds, course. not farmers and growers. And the climate of Al Madina does not suit us. So the Messenger of Allah told them to go out to the flock of female camels and drink their milk and urine. Their milk Disgusting. and urine. Disgusting. When they Disgusting. recovered, <laughs> they were in the vicinity <laughs> of Al Haram. Uh, they apostatized, Muhammad having Muhammad become Muslim. Muhammad the story goes on to narrate what they did next. But the point that I want to focus in on is the Muhammad instructs his followers to drink camel piss mixed with urine. And this is an example for Muslims. So let me ask you, would you drink camel piss mixed with I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Would you drink camel piss mixed with milk? I blame you, I blame you. No, I blame you, I blame you. I blame you, I blame you. Man who drinks donkey rotten water. He finished Would you drink camel piss mixed with camel milk? Would you? Go to the Bible. Go to the Bible. He wants to change the subject. He wants to change the subject. Do you want to hear him answer my question? Question. Yeah. He can't hear you. No, listen, listen. Oh, yeah. I would want to answer my question. Would, I would, I would. Would, you would, you would you drink camel piss? Yes, yes. 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 Would you drink camel piss? Come on, I will do it. If everybody can stop yeah, screaming, yeah. shouting, okay. okay. yeah. 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 closing, and I'm going to raise my voice. I don't want to. Yeah. Would you? It's been proven, and it's even in your medicine that you're drinking. He's not asking you to write. They take certain things from camel urine. That's. We're not talking. Oh, we're not talking. This whole camel face. Face. We want the full Muhammad. Excuse me. Not low fat Muhammad. Excuse me. Excuse me. To go there literally just drink a piss on his own. But Muhammad instructs you to. I know in the past they did. Yeah. Did he say? Did he say extract anything? Does Muhammad say that I extract something good from a camel piss? No. He said drink the milk and the piss together. That's what he said. I don't want your Muhammad like religion. If you can't defend Muhammad for what he said, perhaps your conscience and your mind is telling telling you you can do better. No, let's also correct it because the World Health Organization tells people not to drink camel piss.
But yet, the one hand of God is going to work. Jesus is that fist. Can you tell me that someone pull up with that fist to make medicine? If when it tells you to drink camel piss. Yeah, but you will drink it in a pill. When they put it in liquid form or put it in a pill, you put it down your throat. I want to drink your camel piss. I want to see your evidence. No problem. Or your claim. No problem. Where is it? Lose their claim. You're the one saying we drink camel piss. No! Mohammed said it. No! He doesn't write. Mohammed couldn't write. This is what your prophet said. Someone else wrote it. For the record, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is stupid advice, and if you follow it, you are led into stupidity. My advice is to follow the best findings of science, and the best findings of medical science is that nothing good comes from drinking camel piss. Nothing! Listen, listen, listen. We are not like Christians when Jesus commanded the Christians to sell the garments and buy the sword and fight the Romans. They run like cowards. They run. We listen to Muhammad. Muhammad tell us to drink a camel pee. I will drink camel pee. Yeah. Here we go. 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 To drink camel piss, I'll drink camel piss. You can do better than Muhammad or Muslims. You don't need to follow this madness. Where in the Quran did it say drink camel piss? Where in the Quran did it say drink camel piss? It doesn't say that. Where in the Quran did it say drink camel piss? Where in the Quran did it say drink camel piss? So, let's, let's deal with his point. Oh, he's walking away. So, his argument. Let's deal with his argument. Excuse us, bro. Come forward, Jason. The camera's, the camera's very important. So let's deal with the brother's argument. You want to answer my question? The brother who made an argument and then walked away. Because as always, the Dawah team don't want to hear their religion criticised. The Muslim brother said, the Muslim brother said, it's not in the Quran. So we don't have to do it. Do you think you can do it without screaming? What a lie! <laughs> well, that much not. Every Muslim member of the Dawah team will tell you that Islam is not just the Quran. It is the Quran as interpreted through Hadith. Yes, yes, yes. So when you yeah, find an example, fun. everyone on three in the Hadith, One, two, three, which yeah. says, yeah. which says. Drink camel piss, your attitude well, yeah. should not be like him who says, Where does it say that in the Quran? Because that's a Quran only heresy in Islam. It should be like this guy who says he will drink camel piss. And that's what he said. I will do it. I will drink camel piss. I will do it. So let me ask, I'm not all of you Muslims. Your mind says to you, right, I have it for you. Do not drink camel piss. One second. He doesn't want the proof. He wants your mind. Don't disturb him. He's telling you, do not drink camel piss. Then your mind is telling you that Muhammad is not the best example. And if you're here thinking that he is, then you're your reason is contradicting your religion. Oh, oh, so your evidence. Doctor Farhan Abdullah Hamid discovered that cancer can be treated. Cancer and other disease could be treated by camel urine. Thank you very much. So he quotes a doctor. I've already addressed this point. He should have listened. He should have listened. So, so the brother gives an argument. 
And the argument is, he's not a Muslim scholar, doctor from a Muslim university, doctor who tries to argue that cannabis can be used as a cure to cancer. Doctor, that's what he says. That's what he says. So, I am sorry, but I don't think the world has realised yet that you can't what this Muslim doctor says that we can cure cancer using camel piss. <laughs> Do you know why no one is using camel piss no, if you take as a treatment shut you for up, cancer? It's because it isn't. The research he quoted is discredited. In oh, its entirety, the the movies has paid the blood of health or the other of 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 the Hey, show me! It's already I showed been you sold a doctor at the corner. You show me. You showed me an Islamic doctor from an Islamic university so, whose research so, is trying to defend so, her from embarrassment. So, but he's not giving me a World Health Organization doctor who has so good health to The World Health this, the World Health that. He's, world health that. he's not giving me a doctor who is embarrassed. Yeah, I'll give you another one. Yeah, I'll give you another one. One, yeah. Let's deal with this doctor. I'll give you another one. Let's just deal with this. I'll give you another one. His argument Shut is that they can extract something from your eye. That is medicinal. Can you breathe? Can you breathe? The fact of the matter is the medicinal properties can be found in nature. And correlation does not equal equivalence. We can find whatever is good. If it is good in camel piss, outside of camel piss. Furthermore, Mohammed does not say extract from camel piss something that is good. He says drink it. He's obsessed with it. I'm not sure. Sure. I would ask some serious questions. You know what? Why are you obsessed with camel piss? Your prophet was the one obsessed with camel piss. My advice. Last two hours, you're speaking about it. Was the one upset? He wants to drink it. He wants to drink it. The argument is solid. You're not a scholar. I haven't been glad this year. Yeah, their prophet has led this guy and this guy. I have a question for you, mate. If that is not what you finished, if you finished with the camel pen, I have a question for you. He was giving it as medicinal. No, no, because of thirst. People had stomachache. Have you finished with? Have you finished with your camel piss or can I? Can I ask you something? You're not going to drink the camel pee. You're going to drink cow pee. Hello, it's camel piss day. Don't disturb. You're still reading from an Islamic website. This is one. Hey, can I ask you a question? What's the question? What's the question? What's the question? I have a question for you. You're a Christian, right? Correct or incorrect? Sorry? A Christian. You believe I'm a Catholic one, you are the most Christian. It means that I am a disciple, I seek to be a disciple of Christ and follow him. Yeah, but how do you know what he did? Uh, uh, give me a minute. How do you know what Christ did? How do you know what Christ did? How do I know what Christ did? You weren't alive when he was running the show. By the holy tradition of the church. Of which church? I just asked you what church. And which one is that? Enlighten the ignorant. What? Your, your question is nonsense. Tell me which one is the only one, church. Which one is that? I'm ignorant. So you're avoiding my question. Answer my question. You're avoiding my question. I only believe in one church. And which one is it? You see, you're not going to answer my question. I'm a Catholic. I'm a Catholic. I'm asking you. Which one is it? You haven't. You've avoided the question. Shows not because you're scared of the answer. So notice that those trying to defend Muhammad 
I've tried to change the subject. I haven't tried to defend him. Because they are embarrassed by him. Can you name the same Explain me how the Jew is trying to change the topic. I just have a question for you, which you have been avoiding continuously. I'm still waiting for this. What, what are these quotes then? You might be waiting some time. So while he's looking, why didn't you tell me which church you are? I, I, I want the urine quotes. Yeah. When you've decided to and, cease to and avoid me, let me know. He's quite right. So, guys, we've just found out what is his source for his doctor about urine. Was it medical research? No, it was Wikipedia. That was what he was quoting. One second, I got the I got the page from Wikipedia, but the Wikipedia got it from the actual doctors from their website. So what's the source? Name the source. Even if Jesus came to him and told him, he wouldn't buy it. He wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. The source. This guy is scared of his religion. He won't tell me the source. He won't even tell me the denomination of the church he follows. The United Arab Science Technology Foundation. Yeah, go on. The other one. Uh, no, I'm the trying. College of Science, King Saud, Saudi Arabia. That's the other. Have you decided to face up and tell me which the American American professor of cell biology and immunology, Russia Al Saad? Those are his sources. Muslims who have a vested interest. Do you have a PhD? Do you have a no, you're right. The vested interest. He has a vested interest not to tell me which denomination of the church he is. No. Shout at me. The cat of cameras right here. Let's look at more drinking habits of the prophet. Tell me a doctor's name of the Western Western country. Yes, tell me what the nomination of the church is. Lower set and tell me. This guy's obsessing my genitalia. They avoid me. They avoid me passionately because they have no answers to my question. So they choose to avoid my question. So, more drinking practices. Counteract this. I will. Give me a doctor's name from the World Health Organization. I'm going to counteract it. professor. I'm going to counteract What denomination of the church? Do you you the parent. So he said. So he said. You need to go to football. So he said. Leave my cousin alone. What, what is my argument against it? My argument is this: the World Health Trade Organ. Sorry, the World Health Organization does not recommend this. The NHS. Who in the World Health? The NHS. Who in the does not recommend it? Nobody. Everyone does not recommend it. The NHS does not recommend it. They don't drink. You need to they certainly don't recommend drinking camel piss. Camel piss, camel piss will be for you. I think you should drink camel piss. To borrow some of the water, to borrow some of the water. Would you drink camel piss? No, I wouldn't drink camel piss. They wouldn't drink camel piss. Are you a Muslim? No, I'm not. I'm a Jewish. Can we move from this? What the nomination? You got your right here. Fair enough. Are you a Muslim? So what? What the nomination of the church? He also said he wouldn't. Drink from camel piss, which means he disagrees with Mohammed. Notice their behavior. Their behavior. I have a test that wasn't. No health organization. No one was the prophet. Zero people. 
I think that you just converted to Islam. No! So, spoke in the Arabic, so, you would have had your eyes there is no God but Allah. Moses is the prophet. Yeah! He didn't say Muhammad. So, here's my. Before you make accusations, I can't run. Stop them up. Why am I a hypocrite? You are your prophet is stupid. Why? Because God is stupid. That the narrators were stupid. And that those that compiled the hadith were stupid. How many hadiths have I quoted? Just from this. How many hadiths have I quoted? How many have I quoted? No, not just from that. I've got nobody stupid. No, let me let me let me just go back. Let me just go back. Let's just remember how many hadiths did I quote? Children. How many hadiths did I quote? How many hadiths? How many hadiths did I quote? I quoted a hadith that said, drink water from a well that has rotting dogs in it. I quoted a hadith that said, drink water from a lake that has rotting dogs in it. He's a coward. He's a coward. I quoted a hadith that said, he doesn't want to talk about his body. Notice their behavior. They depend on that. no, 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 no. Right. Can we move on no. from this urine No, we're not going to move on. The reason why <laughs> you we... want to move on yeah. is because you're embarrassed right. by yeah. what I'm you're really putting. Yeah. Yeah. Far from it. And you want to get off the topic no, no, no. as quickly yeah. as you far can. Far from it. Right. Right. We're going, we're Have you on. found out what the I'm nomination of the church you are yet? I want to ask you about the interrogation that you are. Muhammad said. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Notice. They don't want to listen. Muhammad said. My case for those that are late to this conversation is based on a number of Islamic sources and you seem to be obsessed with in which yeah. Muhammad yeah. said the following I think it's important that we know that it's from Dawah, we're from Dawah brothers Do you want to hear what I have to say? No! Muhammad said the water was not made impure by anything. He said that, yeah. It wasn't made impure by yeah. human feces. And we have our back It wasn't yeah, made yeah. impure Every three by seconds, rotting yeah. dogs. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't made impure fun, by rotting you, donkeys. Uh -huh. It even was not made impure by menstrual <laughs> towels. Oh, you have a gas donkeys, man. Oh. Muhammad said, yeah, man. Muhammad said that you can oh. drink oh. Is not pure. camel piss oh. with oh. milk I will drink as it. medicinal. I will drink it. And these guys. I say that they would drink it. Yes. yes. So, so, Muhammad command me to so, it. I will drink it. My point is if your reason and intelligence is telling you that this is rubbish, then your reason and your intelligence is telling you Muhammad is not the best example. You're like a broken tape recorder just without the off button, okay? This is his turn to reply to my case. Watch him change the subject. La ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah is not, <laughs> is not an answer to the question. That's the big intending. That's the big intending. not the answer to the question. Said, Let me Allah. Moses I, I now Allah. understand why yes, you have minarets. It's so much fun screaming. Imagine doing that five times a day. You need to put in there. It's so much. Shitload of fun. Can I do the minaret thing? Can I be a Muslim? Jesus had to be a Muslim. You we have to go with the best science that we have. And the best. You hypocrite? Yeah, we have to go with the best science that we have. 
It is common sense. It was common sense even to the Muslim in the time of Muhammad. They didn't want to do it. They only did it because Muhammad said so. And this guy says he'll do it because Muhammad said so. Yes, yes, I'll do it. So it doesn't matter what science discovers, you just do what Muhammad said. I'll make it. No, no. I said if he said it. How do you know he can No, no. Because we have. We have Hadith. Yes, Hadith. Hadith. A lot of Muslims ah, Hadith. 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 Yes, yes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if Muhammad <laughs> proved he said so, so I will do it. Yeah, okay. you know, because not, 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 not like the Christian. No, no, you wait, 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 wait. Not like the Christian. When Jesus asked him to sell that garment and buy the sword, and buy the Roman, they are stupid. Oh my God. You're not. We have to command this. It's stupid, yeah? You're not going to go anywhere. Figure out what dimension of the church you are. Because at the end of the day, in your Bible, in your Bible, it says. Which one? You have 200. You have to give more. If you're depressed, if you're, if you're depressed, you could drink yourself. You can get worried the way you treat yourself today. Yeah. yeah, that's what your Bible says. What if you're worried, if you have financial worries, you're depressed. Yeah, you drink, yeah. drink, drink, you're, drink, you're drink alcohol. Yeah. That's what your Bible you're says. You're telling him, no telephone, no okay, telephone. Come on, you tell him, you're not telephone. Oh, this subject yes. is nonsensical. No, 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 no. We're not gonna go nowhere. Yes, let's just deal with the subject in hand. Why does your God love killing children? Yes. Why? Why? Why, Bob? Why? 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 More inclined. Have you decided what church you're in yet, or you still don't plan to tell me? <laughs> you're avoiding the question because you don't want the follow-up Are you done? Do you want to do that? And Jesus said to you, you You know! You hypocrite! You son of viper! Guys! Guys! What we noticed from the Muslim counter-argument was that he addressed none of the evidence and got off the topic of conversation as quickly as he could. A bit however, like you did when I asked you a chance. However, wow. the evidence smacks them in the face because this is their own literature. I'm not quoting some right-wing fanatic or Christian missionary. I'm quoting their hadiths and their hadiths put into the word the mouth of the prophet, these words, that water is not contaminated by anything at all. Deal with the evidence or abandon your prophet for the unguided man he is. Abandon yours to follow him in his anonymous church. Which the evidence says. Which one is a part the of? The evidence says. Which religion am I supposed to join? The evidence You won't says. tell me which one you're part of. Muhammad am I supposed to join? Say. Drink hey, no your father, your father, your father. with camel piss. That's what Muhammad says. This was my father. Deal with the evidence. Deal with the evidence. And if your reason and your intellect tells you that this is stupid, then it is telling you that Muhammad is not rightly guided, he is not a prophet, he is not a from God. We can do better than this religion when we've heard two Muslims here today who have said that because Muhammad said it, they would drink camel piss and they would drink water contaminated with menstrual towels. I didn't force them to say that. They said it of their own volition. We don't need to follow this unguided prophet. Deal with my whole case. Stop trying to get off the topic. You finished? Yes. Okay, right. What combination of the church are you? We've already dealt with the urine subject. 
I gave him three doctors, separate doctors. Fine, they are Muslim, but they are still doctors. You go to your local doctor, you'll be a Muslim, yeah? So let's not go there, yeah? Gave him three doctors who said camel urine can be used to medicinal use. So let's not go there. I told Bob, yeah? This subject is nonsensical. We are not going nowhere. Is Muhammad an actor? He's picking up a subject which is, it doesn't make sense. Why not talk about a subject where his God loves killing children? Shifting the subject, changing the subject. He doesn't want to answer my questions. We are I know, we are but I'll, I'll, I'll come here to talk about We are talking about okay. Muhammad here. Okay. Muhammad is the one who is giving this instruction. Papa, Papa. one Papa. minute. Papa. Not the charge Papa. Are you. One minute. Why, why are you bringing the... Uh, why are you bringing the... Why are you bringing the... Why are you bringing the... You weren't bothered doing it to me, bro. Why, why, why you weren't bothered you, then. Why are you bringing the... Okay. Doctors here. I gave him a doctor. I gave him someone who has a PhD. I gave him a professor. Who said you can use cow camel urine for medicinal use. That's one. That's one. On the Bible, it also says in the Bible, if you're depressed, if you're down in life, it gets worse. Drink alcohol. It gets drink worse. yourself to death, so you can forget. Let's talk about so breastfeeding. So you can forget. Yeah. When you, if I give you the quote, Mr. Blunt, don't deny it. Mr. Blunt, if I give you the quote, not polite. Stop screaming. It's not polite. <laughs> Says the man who stood nothing but Second three. Kings. I can do it. It's Second reserved Kings. for Jews. Second Kings. What? The nomination of the church you are you? Talk to me. How should I convert to your church? Without you tell me which one you are. Yes. There's only one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Ah, the Catholic. Yes. That's why I told you, that's why I say he's a Catholic. But he denies one of them. No. He denies it. It's he doesn't know what he's saying. He doesn't even understand the words. Yes. Right yes. before yes. I die, I'll pop yes. up into the pub. Okay. And ask him to say three hell. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I waited patiently. I waited patiently. I'm going to quote this and you can go. Okay, go on. Guys, guys. Very good. Second Kings, down, chapter down, 2, down, 23. Down, yeah. down. Okay. This is Christianity. This is Christianity. Yeah. Hey, hey, bro, bro, bro. JC. Come down, come down, come down. Come down. No, no, he is, come down. Okay. He's not answering the argument. He's just changing the subject. Just like you would be. He's just changing the subject. Christianity. He's just changing the subject. But it gets worse for the Muslims. This is Christianity. Minute, because let's man, talk about breastfeeding according to Muhammad. No, 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 no drinking no, no, no. habits of the Prophet. No, 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 we're going to change the subject. No, we're going to change the subject. Are you listening? Aisha! Allah be pleased with her. This is all rubbish. Report that God kills children. He's calling his own hadith rubbish. I agree with him. He's right. They are rubbish. They are rubbish. Yes. Reporters, compared to Kai Salah bin Suhail, came deal with to our apostle, may peace be upon him, yeah. and said, Only I can shout, it's my right. Messenger of Allah, uh. I see on the face of Abu Hadath Haifa uh. signs of disgust on entering of Salim, who is an ally into our house. Amazing. Whereupon Allah's apostle said, Suckle him! Uh, why are you changing suckle the subject? Him. Uh, why she are said, you changing the subject? How? This is Aisha speaking! Mohammed's child bride! The mother of the faith who is talking to Mohammed! Hey, listen! Uh, everyone! Uh, listen! Uh, listen! Uh, listen! Uh, listen! Uh, listen! Exactly! How let us do his crown! Suckle him! As he is a grown man! As he is a grown man! I was messing your smiles! How disgusting! Alinger's messenger! And said, I already know that he is a young man! Ahmad has made this decision! In his relation, that he participated in the Battle of Badr. Uh -huh. So, in other words, 
Mohammed says, Aisha, my child, ride, get out your breast and suckle a full grown man. That's the prophet. That's the prophet. Wow! Mohammed. So in order to make a summary, okay. my turn, yeah? Don't say it's the subject. Where is someone going to go? This is nothing. This is nothing compared to Tear their God that, killing you children. You want to suck a child's Tear breast? On killing children. There's one thing about suckling on a child's breast, and there's another thing about yeah. killing children. Everyone join in. Second Kings. Chapter Second Kings, sorry. Second Kings. And we acknowledge that fact. Chapter two. Are you gonna deal with my argument? No, he's not, he's going to the Bible. What's the argument? He's going to the Bible. Wait, he's going to the Bible. Wait, he's Elijah, changing the subject. Elijah, he's changing the subject. Elijah, he's changing the subject. Answer my question yeah, about you are suckling a child's breast. We are talking about the Bible. Answer the question. We are talking about the Bible. Answer the question. 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 And some boys come out of my own and call Elijah Boldy. We are talking about wait, 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 wait. the process and of Mehram. They call Elijah Boldy. Yeah. Then Elijah turns around. We are talking about the process of Mehram. We are talking about the process of Mehram. We are talking about the process of Mehram here. And kill 42 of those children. 42 of those children. How do you kill 42 children? What? The four. The children couldn't run away when from the you bears. When you grow a set first, and you're willing to just bait me, first you'll find me around. God. First, give us, God. First, give us the process of marriage. Yeah. 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 The, the Muslim love? debater what yeah. has yeah. tried to change the subject yeah. entirely. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why is he embarrassed by his prophet? Why is he embarrassed by Muhammad's teaching? I'll tell you why. Because it is embarrassing. Well, that's what it is embarrassing yeah. to yeah. say yeah. to a woman yeah. 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 that she should yeah. suckle yeah. a strange yeah. man yeah. on yeah. her breast yeah. so yeah. that that man yeah. becomes yeah. halal yeah. to her. Yeah. That's yeah. embarrassing. Are you going to believe this shit? Because that is He's full calling the words of our prophet shit. Not me. He called it shit. completely changed. What the story around says he needs about his own prophet. He needs yes. Yes. who knows yes. what they're talking what about to said. answer his questions. That's so all that's exactly more what he needs to do. You haven't given Aisha. no evidence. No evidence at all. Listen, Aish, these are your hadiths. Yes. Says you. Your hadiths. Who's no. Uh. Says your Muslim scholars. Muslim scholar. Not me. Muslim scholar. Aisha, it's been written by someone in Allah be pleased with her, reported that he had, that he had been revealed in the Holy Quran. She is your mother. That so ten huh? clear you sucklings all make <coughs> the marriage <coughs> unlawful. Yes. Marry your mother. Then it was exactly. abrogated and substituted by five sucklings. And Allah's apostle died. And it was before that time found in the Holy Quran and recited by Muslims. Incidentally, you won't find it in your Quran today because it was removed <laughs> by Uthman. Okay. What, the Quran is being changed? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so this guy, the expert about Islam, is telling us that the Quran has been changed. Now, of course, of anyone course. and everyone, apart from people around here, knows that the Quran has of never of ever been changed. No, 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 no. So this is where he's getting this text from. Quran proof. It, it, Not it, it, everybody, it everybody knows that the Quran has stayed the same yes, from the very beginning. Waiting. The man came running to Muhammad. He's changing it with his own version of the Quran. Oh, Quran has been changed. Exactly, is that what he said? Go for it. The man came running to Muhammad. The he man said, has been changed. Yes. He no, no. said, give me a scholar no, no. that no, no. says that the Quran has been changed. So I'll give him one. Oh, oh, then. I'm going to. Be quiet for a second. What are you giving us? Tell us that. The a reference. So, a reference for what? The Quran's been changed? Yes. Okay. Let's have a look at some... Uh, show, show the camera as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Don't, don't you say that uh, there is an abrogation in every word? 
is not that change. Is not that change. Law terminates that the Bible has been changed. That's clearly proven. That's clearly proven. Law terminates the Bible has been evolved. That's changed. He's a civilization. The Quran is a fact and it's a civilization. The Quran is a fact and it's a civilization. No, no, no. How can you say that? The Quran is a civilization. There is the abrogation in every word. No, there isn't. Not in the Quran. Not in the Quran. The Quran says. Not in the Quran. It's been word for word, letter for letter. There is the difference between Makki Quran and Madini Quran. There is the difference between Makki Quran and Madini Quran. Ladies and gentlemen, we have heard absolutely no counter argument from the Muslims about why Muhammad said that an adult should suckle on a stranger's breast. We have not found any counter argument to the fact that Muhammad said drink water from a lake in which there is the carcass of a rotting donkey. Yeah. Yeah. Was it a lake? Yeah. We have found it was a no counter-argument. Different was a hadiths, pay attention. We have found no counter-argument to the fact that Muhammad said drink water from a well in which you will find rotting dogs, human feces and menstrual towels. Oh. So if you oh. if you can oh. 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 if you oh. 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 river oh. 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 water is not contaminated by anything. So you say, Bob? No one believes that today of any education. But yet, we have believed, we have found Muslims who have said on camera that they will drink camel piss and they will drink water contaminated by menstrual towels just because Muhammad said so. If your prophet leads you into that kind of stupidity, it's time you get a better prophet. And just remember, when Muhammad said to the man, suckle on my wife's breast, he was talking about Aisha, his child's bride. If you are Muslim, think about that. You have to. If you are Muslim, you have to. Out of in order to, well. are you willing in to order to get Muhammad? In order and to get Muhammad, again, he's avoiding my question. Said, you have to. You have to believe he doesn't it. like Jews. I think that's what I don't know. What if if your wife, if your sister, if your, sister, if your mother, yeah, she yeah, wants yeah, somebody yeah, to yeah, be yeah, your yeah, Muhammad, yeah, then you have to believe that. Then you, they have to give them a. Your brother, 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 let him talk. Brother, let him talk. The reason why I want him to talk is because the quicker he talks, the quicker I can give the reference of the scholar who identifies that the Quran has been changed. Yes. Okay. So say a piece and then I'll quote the scholar. Right, you watch us. Right, on, on Second Kings, Bob would not address it. Why his God loves killing children? Why? Changing the subject again. 42 kids. Judgment! 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 Let him change the subject. You're an expert. 42 kids got mulled by two bears. Yeah. Elijah placed a curse on them, prayed to God, and God sent two bears to mule 42 kids. Why does his God, he wants to talk about camel piss and this, that, and the other. Let's talk about a serious subject. Why does your God love killing children? Oh my God. God. He's just said Muhammad oh is a serious guy. I agree. Oh. No, it's a joke. So why does so your God? Why does your Quran is not serious? My friend, why does your God? Why does your God love Thank you killing very children? Much. children? Can I reply? Thank you Deal very with much. that. Okay, let me reply. Deal with that. 42, 42 children so, that got killed by a bear. Let me reply. Oh. Notice Thank you, God. Thank you very that much. in the entirety of this debate, my interlocutor has got off the topic as quickly as he could. Why? Because it is indefensible to hold up a man as the best example to mankind who says that water is not contaminated by anything and that you can drink water contaminated by rotting carcasses, menstrual towels, human feces, <laughs> that you can drink camel piss mixed with camel milk and that you should suckle on the child breasts of your youngest wife. I don't blame him for being embarrassed. I would be embarrassed to defend such a man. But if your reason and your intellect is telling you 
that this is an embarrassment, then your reason and your intellect is telling you we can do better than Muhammad. No, I said that the Quran was changed. He said, show me one scholar that argues the Quran has been changed. He's in luck because today I'm doing a buy one, get one free. I'll give him two scholars that make that argument. Dr. Keith Small, in his book, Textual Criticism and Quran Manuscripts, identifies multiple variations in the substrata of textual manuscripts. He compares the Sana pamphlets that were found in Sana with the 1924 version of the Quran that was produced in Egypt and he finds multiple textual differences. Don't believe me? Go and buy the book, read it for yourselves. Jed Ard Puin. This Muslim has question for you. Jed Ard Puin reads this, listen to the quote. The orthography of the standard text, and that's referring to the Quran, is full of inconsistencies, as if, as if they became petrified in a time when an orthographic reform had started already, but which had not yet become effective in the whole corpus. It is just this defect, however, which enables us to reveal many details of its orthographic history. The more so if we take the early manuscripts of the Quran into account because for lack of sure because of lack of a critical edition we cannot rightly be sure at all the standard text is really the Rasim Uthmani i.e. the earliest possible text of the Quran and that was Jadar Wait, so this is the argument. I debated him for an hour and a half and he ran away from the argument. Now I have to leave the corner. He's saying I'm running away. Can you address the point of what you Can you address the whole the bears spending the 42 tons? No, he won't debate the Jew by himself. So you're going to ask him. Tell you what, Ali Dawa. Ali, 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 man, the man, the man who talks about masturbating over babies is here. That's what he said, by the way. It's on record. The man who endangered two families so he could pursue his own fame by giving out false addresses to Tommy Robinson that belonged to innocent families that he endangered. At what point? Ali, at what point? Go. He's got to go. He's got to go. I always have to go at three. And I always go at three. Do I not always go at three? Do I not always go at three? You didn't have the chance. Come on, what, Ali? Ali, I'm going to challenge Ali Dawa right now. Ali Dawa. Oh, he doesn't want to listen to the challenge. You didn't have the chance. Ali, I'm challenging you. Let's get it on record. He doesn't want to listen. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm challenging Ali Dawa. You don't need to shout. Ali Dawa. Come at one o'clock next oh. Sunday. You've been advising me for two hours. Two hours. You will not answer little two dogs question. You're running around. We need to be everywhere. But little Jew, I wonder what. He doesn't believe Muhammad's a prophet. Case closed. Shamsi, quickest debate we've ever had.
for an hour and a half, I challenged Muslims about their, the drinking habits of Muhammad, which include drinking from a well with menstrual towels, uh, rotting dogs and human feces, drinking from a lake with the rotting carcass of a donkey, and also drinking... Yeah, that's right. You just give us a moment. Guess what? What? Here's the real big man with a real big voice. Yeah. I'm just going to get my throat back. It looks like have we, a don't tea, have, we don't have... And then have I'll give to, a little uh, slap. Yeah. Verbally. Yeah, go, go on, try it. Okay. Try it. Anyway, so, um, there's a lot of gas here. <laughs> um, I'm sure he's got a lot of gas. Anyway, so basically what we see um, is the fact that Muslims are forced into a really ridiculous situation. They have to either go along with what Muhammad said in defiance of all available scientific evidence and argue as two Muslims did that they would drink camel piss and water from wells and lakes with rotting animals in it or or they have to say that Muhammad is not the best example in this regard and if he's not the best example in this regard then he's not the best example to us the Christian faith by contrast says that you use the best knowledge of the time so if your better knowledge today contradicts certain habits and reforms certain habits that you were practicing yesterday then you have to practice that you have to follow it and you have to change and within the Christian worldview, there is the modern day crusader. Of change. Modern day crusader. Modern day modern jihadi. Day, modern day yeah, crusader. Yeah, yeah. He'll be jihadi. on the news. Wait, wait, wait. Sure. Jihadi, jihadi, jihadi. Wait. One, 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 the biggest jihad one, one is day, fighting. One day he'll be a jihadi. The, the, the biggest, yeah. the biggest, seen, the biggest jihad. Seen, wait. The biggest, seen, the biggest seen, jihad seen, is steering your way from sin. Yeah, That's yeah. the biggest jihad. Well, why I'm steering away from sin. That's the biggest jihad. The biggest jihad is to stop sinning. That's the biggest jihad. So, so we we see we see their good behavior. We see their good behavior. So. There are, resultantly, resultantly, Christians have within our worldview the ability to adapt and change according to obvious things. And here's the interesting thing. It was obvious to the people of Muhammad that drinking from contaminated wells and lakes was not good for them. They didn't want to do it. But Muhammad told them to do it. Now, if your reason and your intellect is telling you this is not the best example, then you've already got good reasons to abandon Islam. In Christianity, we don't have this problem. So come home to something better. Come home to Christ. Uh -huh.